Ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening. It's such a wonderful feeling. Today, this is an August gathering and addressing the stalwarts of Indian cinema is, I feel, a fitting closure to a year that has been very eventful in the arts. I'd like to call on stage some of these stalwarts who are with us backstage. I'd like to begin with Mr. Kamlesh Pandey. Mr. Kamlesh Pandey, sir, thank you so much for coming. An actor whom we all love to call Jaggu Dada, Mr. Jackie Shroff. The maker, the showman himself, Mr. Subhash Kai. both in Indian and American films, Mr. Anupam Kher. And finally, for the man who defies description as an actor, Mr. Nasiruddin Shah. might look very suspiciously as a team put together by Mr. Subhash Ghai because all these actors are featured in his films. Before we start the evening's proceedings, we'd like to start with the symbol of enlightenment, lighting the traditional lamp, and I'd like to call upon Miss Karina Wazir to do the honor.
Thank you, Farina. Thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, as we are all aware, life in the performing arts has not only drawn us to master the craft, but also master the art of survival. Today we talk about such a survivor, a man who got hit by a tempo, a man who was run over by a truck in the weekly, which was very popular and still is, the screen. Strangely enough, Ali felt that he was cut out to be a bus conductor. Maybe if he had tried, we could have had another Rajnikant. His other dream was to write poetry in a jungle. He did, only this time the jungle was a concrete jungle. Ali was such a born writer that he wrote 14 pages in his algebra exam, leaving his examiner to wonder what kind of student he was. He cut his teeth in the 1970s when he first wrote for Claude Alvarez's revolutionary campus magazine. And it was an interview with the renowned filmmaker and writer, Mr. Rajinder Singh. Ever since, Ali has traveled a marvelous, wonderful journey. He has chronicled the lives of no less than Ashok Kumar, Dilip Kumar, Raj Kumar, Sunil Dutt, Mehmu, Premnath, Devanand, Raj Kapoor, Shami Kapoor, Shashi Kapoor, Nargis, Nutan, Vahida, Rehman, Nanda, Hema Malini, Rekha, and Amitabh Bachchan, amongst so many others of three generations. We all remember, and fondly too, Ali's notes, which was Ali Peter John's most popular in it. When Shabana Azmi and Javed Attar Saab got married, they called him up and asked him to feature them and the marriage in his column because they said, only if you write about it will people take it seriously. Today, where, when we live in an, e an era of paid news, where every headline can be bought, there was a time in Ali's career when he could have pioneered the pain, on the other hand, he gave a boost to several budding careers through his columns. Forty years of untiring writing week after week, at times even from a hospital bed. This could be a singular achievement for a writer in Indian cinema. When I met Ali recently, I was tempted to ask him what kept him going so relentlessly? So, how did he overcome the frustration of repeating himself? Ali says, by seeing the happiness on the face of the subject I am interviewing. And finally, how does he overcome the boredom and the exhaustion of being at it day in and day out? He says, I'd like to be with those who are in competition today. They can write, but they cannot write the way calls a blend of Charlie Chaplin and Mirza Ghalib. Let's give him a big hand. gentlemen we have the most august and wonderful gathering here on stage and I know we are all very eager to hear them all. Let's start with Mr. Subhash Gaidu Sir.
talk about a man whom we know for decades now because we all people sitting here belong to decades. In 30, 40 we know it's Jesus. And we all met when we were younger. Pressure, facing wonders, witnessing so many things, new and old. As far as I remember, I met Ali uh, 35 years back. And now I meet Ali after 35 years. And I feel I'm meeting the same man. In the context, he was simple. He is simple. Ali, he, we have been meeting many veteran writers, critics, journalists, media people throughout our life. And we have been facing their questions told, untold. And we have been protecting ourselves, defending ourselves in many situations. But my experience is, when I met Ali, I was never, never ready for the defense. <coughs> meeting Ali means that you are merely meeting some saint, a journalist who is intelligent, who has some spiritual dimension. He is not running or craving to creep something from your mind from your action, that he could get something spicy, something nasty, something personal, something private. Before he meets you, he gives the impression, Peter gives the impression that he knows it all, and it's all is cool, no problem. He makes you relax. His sense of spirituality, his peace within himself, is a great asset to him. He makes you calm. He writes about you. And I have seen his writing, his books, his articles. He is always inspiring. Falling or rising people doesn't matter to him. He doesn't go with the market. What the market today says or yesterday said. He talks about people, he talks about person, he talks about their strength. Even he turns their weaknesses into strength. This is his interaction with the film industry. It starts with everyone, not with me. Not only film, you are enlightened to know about life. And I'm sure this book witnessing wonders must be a new experience for a reader to read about. Because his observation, his deep observation of people is amazing. Because he is a saint to himself. As Mahanandji was telling how many stories he fell, he died, he realized, he died, he fell, he, he was thrown. So many things, so many hiccups. But that man is again back and standing and walking. The same peace how cannot we admire this kind of man as a great man himself? Congratulations, Alibai, and wish you all the best for a healthy life, long life. Please write books for us, more books and enlighten us. And thank you very much. Thank you, Gai Saab. I'd like to uh, please present Gai Saab with a, a token of appreciation, a bouquet from the organizer. Just a token, sir, it's nothing. We'd also like to welcome Mr. Raj Babbar on the dais. Thank you, Raj Saab, for coming. And of course, we have my godfathers in the industry, Mr. Abbas Mastan, with us too. Thank you for coming.
May we now have Mr. Kamlesh Pandey to tell us a few words about our EP to John. Kamlesh, sir. मैं जब पहली बार फिल्मों में आया 1986 में और मेरी मेरा नसीब था मेरी खुश किस्मती थी कि मुझे पहला सच जो मिला वो अली पीटर जॉन से मेरा पहला इंटरव्यू उन्होंने दिया उनके जो गुरु थे अब्बास साहब उनके उनके कॉलम पढ़ते पढ़ते हम लोग बड़े हुए थे उनकी फिल्में देखते बड़े हुए थे और जब मैं अली का लिखना मैंने पढ़ना शुरू किया मुझे लगा अब्बास साहब जहाँ भी होंगे खुश होंगी कौन क्यों कलम जिंदा है अली में अली के हाथों में अब बास की कलम जिंदा है और आज पत्रकारिता जिस हद में पहुंच गई है पत्रकार आप सब जानते हैं जिसे हम सब कहते हैं पेज फ्री उस माहौल में एक शख्स ने अब बास की कलम को अपनी हिम्मत से जिंदा रखा है बहुत बड़ी बात और आसान नहीं है आसान नहीं है क्योंकि बहुत सी हैं हिंदुस्तान में अच्छी कलमें भी उन्होंने समझौता कर बिक गई नाम लेने की जरूरत नहीं है इसलिए यह और भी खुशी की बात है कि कम से कम एक शख्स तो है जो सारे हालात के बावजूद सारे दबाव के बावजूद जो लिखना चाहता है वो लिखते जा रहा है और मैं उम्मीद करता हूँ कि आगे भी लिखते रहेंगे मैं बहुत बधाई देता हूँ अली को कि खुदा इनको लंबी जिंदगी दे इनकी कलम को ताकत दे और हम देखेंगे कि आगे भी और भी बिजनेसिंग वंडर्स आते रहे हमारे सामने और हम उन्हें पढ़ते रहें Thank you very much, Kamlesh sir. I can see one of my favorite actors trying to get on stage, none other than Mr. Asrani. Please give him a big hand. Asrani sir, welcome. Welcome to the program. May we have Mr. Jackie Shroff to say a few words. Namaskar sabhi ko, stage par pastit sabhi bado ko mera pranam. Respects to all the seniors and friends out there, colleagues. Bidu, zada kuch bolne ko nahi aara, Ali bhai ne bulaya, idhar aaya. बोलने को कुछ नहीं आया मेरे को कुछ मालूम नहीं क्या बोलने गए बोलने वाला बराबर बोल रहा है जो उनके बारे में जानता है अली क्या है कंग्रेचुलेशन अली यू टू कूल एंड एंड मारा जीत क्या बोलूं मारा मायतर्स नहीं तो क्या है बोलने को तो तब क्या पन अली आल अली नहीं बोलो ना अली में क्या आले जास्ता कहाँ है मारा कहाँ है बोला लेकिन ना है मारा माइटर ना है अली आई अली पीटर अली जॉन ये तरह का कंफ्यूजन है तू तरह का अंतर तेरे तरह कंग्रेजुलेशन भाव बोलो ना आज अभी कहाँ बोलूँगा जय जवान 